In this video we're going to be looking at groups, how they capture, and how we can set a group so it doesn't capture. So in this regular expression up here I'm going to match an email. So let me add some emails in here. I'll, uh, I'll add Alex's and I'll add uh, just a, a sample one and let's have another one. Example, uh, we'll set Jane at example.com. Okay. So let's match some of these. Well, the first thing that we want to match is these characters here. So we do that with the dot sign, if you remember. But what if a user enters a special character as his email address? We obviously don't want that. So instead, we're going to use a character set. And this is going to be A to Z, A to Z, and 0 to 9. And we also want to allow the user to enter underscores, like so. So we're also going to add that in there. Next, we want to match this and symbol, or this at symbol, and we should probably make this character class multiple. Okay, so next we want to match this domain name. So let's say, what well, we'll create a new character class again. We'll say A to Z, A to Z, 0 to 9, and we'll set that to plus. And then we want to add a dot. And because this dot matches all characters, we need to escape it. So now we can just copy this and paste that in there. And that will work. But what if a user enters some sort of gibberish domain name? So like that. Well, we don't want that. So instead, I'm going to create a group and I'm going to set some domains in here. And I'll just change this to net for this example. So we're going to have org for Alex. We need to add our pipe. We're going to have com for John, uh, for John, sorry, pipe, and we're also going to have net for Jane. And of course, you'd want to, sorry, uh, net, and of course, you'd want to add some more domain names if you were using this in production. But for this example, this works fine. Now, one thing that we haven't looked at in regular expressions yet is substitution. So if we go down here and click the substitution tab, what we're going to do is we're going to replace these emails with something else. So if I say foo, all of these emails are going to be replaced with foo. Now what we can do is we can use the dollar symbol and then specify a number. So in this case, one. Then we get the match from our group. And because we're getting a match, this is called a capturing group. But it's a little bit pointless just to get the domain or the TLD. So what we want to do instead is get the whole email address. So what we're going to do is we're just going to encase this inside of a group. Like so. And now our first result is the email itself. Now, we could just leave it like that. But if we put dollar two, then we're still getting these TLDs. And to be honest, that's fine. But for the sake of practice, I want to get rid of these. So we so we're only going to have one match. So to do that, we need to make this group non capturing. And we do that by adding question mark colon after the opening print uh, parenthesis. So now you can see that we get dollar two. So no second group has been captured. If we change this back to dollar one, then we get the full email address. 